Hey lovelies, welcome back to Reviews and Recaps. Let's talk about Carlos King cancelling some live shows. Now, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell button so you know every single time that I post. Now, everyone, please like, share and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Now, let's get into it. Shout out to Here for Hot Tea because that's where I found out about the story. Okay. You all know the whole Carlos King reality with the King has gone MIA. I don't know if you guys are in the same YouTube streets with me, but I am not seen, I have not seen anything related to that in a while. Now, let me know if you guys agree in the comment section. But even with that, like, remember how he had the whole show with Melody Cherie and the Melometers came and showed out and sold it out? Well, he has not had another one since then, right? So he does have a show coming up with Teresa from Real Housewives of New Jersey, right? Um, and the show is supposedly meant to take place on the 13th. But I've not seen or heard anything further about it. And so, like, it just made me think, is it going to actually still happen? People are tired of how Carlos King runs his thing in the sense that he's so heavily invested in bravo shows bravo celebrities and all these things that you're like seriously how about you focus on building your own shows i've never seen someone as invested in other people's ish in my entire life like i'm thinking yo you're trying to build you're trying to you need to be focusing on building your own shows and the longevity or having longevity with your shows i'm quite surprised that he's not really even like focusing on his stuff i would have thought he'll be promoting the show from like the rooftop promoting with anyone who cares to listen but it almost seems like all we keep seeing him talk about is bravo and so i just i honestly don't really understand what it is like what is bravo paying you on the side like what is going on sir because i don't understand how you're so heavily invested with bravo i just don't get it like even think about like love and marriage dc right like a lot of people even like ashley went on about like the edit she got a while back and now it's been confirmed like winter decided to go live and say she ain't doing the show no more she's leaving and it's just like, what is going on, sir? Like, you need to mow your lawn. You need to be focused on what's happening in your backyard and stop worrying about Bravo's garden. Like, what is going on, sir? So honestly, it's like worrisome, really. And also, if you think about um the love and marriage deceit, to be specific, right? Like, it's like how many episodes into season three and the ratings are still not looking good, right? Like the ratings are like dropping constantly. I think the latest he dro dropped like 30,000 ratings. Um, and it's like the show itself is low in ratings. If you then add that with the fact that like, it's also like an all time low in like the last three years of the show being aired. And it's like, seriously, like, what is going on? Like, in season one, right, for instance, there was, like, I think not one episode that was below the 273,000 mark. And that was the season we know Monique was on. So I get that, you know, Monique being on could have added a little bit of extra people, right? But season two was basically in the 200,000 view, right? And now with this new season... I think it's like nine episodes or, or uh, nine episodes so far, maybe 10 episodes so far. And only three crossed that 200,000 viewership mark. That is quite low considering season two was pretty much stable at 200,000. So it seems like people are no longer interested in whatever it is that's going on. And they need to sort of, I don't know, the show needs to be revamped. Like something needs to be done. And I just wish that he would focus on work that needs to be done and be less involved in the YouTube streets. Leave the YouTube streets for us, honey. Let's, for we get this, right? Like focus on giving us a good show so that we can have more to talk about. I remember I asked you guys like if I should cover Love and Marriage DC. You guys said no. I was so surprised. I was like, okay, 
I didn't even, I wasn't really particularly enjoying the season anyway. So I was just like, when you guys said no, I said, oh, wonderful. Because I don't want to have to endure watching a show that I don't like because you guys want it. But because I'm a good team player, if you guys want anything, of course, I'm going to try my best to do what I can for you guys. As you lot know, the show was paused for like 10 months. People were pissed. The cast members did not like that, which makes sense because like their lives would have moved ahead so much in that 10 months i know things happen in 10 months guys like that's a whole baby for instance like seriously so i understand people feeling some type of way about the fact that like it was paused for a while and so it's like when you couple that with like low ratings when you couple that with like the live show it's like what's going to happen with the live show like is everything cancelled is it potentially going to come back like it i think people at this point just need something different from carlos king and until he's ready to give that i think he's going to continue to get people that are not really invested in the shows that he's creating um if we think about bold and bougie for instance um bold and bougie was off to a rocky start towards the end of bold and bougie i was kind of like okay i'll give it another chance and watch season two when it comes out but after that, if it does not do what it needs to do, then I'm going to have to jump ship on this one. But like, I feel like people are at a point where they want a lot more from Carlos. They want to see some growth. They want to see some improvement for the better. But if anything, people just feel like he has so much disdain for Melody Cherie. People ain't like that. One thing people don't like feeling is feeling used. And a lot of Melomaters feel used. And um, by Carlos, particularly in, in terms of them showing up to support Melody and him, only for him to then, you know, throw a little shade and all of those things and then go up, go out to be striking channels for YouTubers. Like a lot of YouTubers, this is what they do for money financially, right? This is like their day job. So if you're out here striking people and taking food off their table, are you surprised that these same people that were supporting you and which you have also credited to the success of your show are now no longer going in and doing all of that work for your show so of course things are going to not be doing as well as they should now i'm sure he's going to be like oh well the youtubers that he struck it is mine anyway probably think oh they don't have a lot of subscribers but what you don't know is in the commentary space even if you may not have a lot of subscribers you generally may get decent amount of views so you get viewerships from people who don't necessarily subscribe right and there are a bunch of us within like this space right and it's like a community right so if you're not really supportive of others you're not going to get the support so that's that's just how it works um i do hope he reflects and like stops being in Bravo's business, focus on your own garden, tend to your own garden. This is the reason why Melody Cherie continues to prosper. And it's because she tends to her garden. She works on her ish. She ain't focusing on nobody else's business but hers. And that is what I think Carlos needs to learn. That's all I have to talk to you guys about today. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and that button right next to it so you know every single time that I post. And don't forget to like. Please like. Make sure you share everyone. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.